What's up, Mad World? It's Miko Sass. Closing up the gym. Should have did this before the guys left, but um, we had a great training session tonight. Excellent energy in the gym. Denver Lopez, Isaiah Monroe, uh, Ralston Thomas, looking for his first pro fight. Uh, Global Legion, I know you've reached out to me, so Ralston would be great for your December 17th card. And uh, Mike Hunter, an amateur, would be great for that card. Those are two guys I got in mind. Got an ambulance rolling by. Hope everything's okay, hope everything's good. But um, coming up shortly, we got Mason uh, Wester and uh, Chester Lindowski and um, Jake Valdez looking to fight on um, Rocket Combat Sports November 5th. And uh, I want to say it's Winchester VA. Isaiah Monroe's looking for uh, uh, Cage Fury Fighting Championships, possibly November 10th, if he can find an opponent. So we're back in that groove. And, um, you know, Coach Sass is pretty bad about not going to fights, but um, I'm feeling froggy. So I'm going to get back out there, at least the uh, Rocket Combat Sports. I definitely want to make that. And uh, the Global Legion in South Carolina, I want to make that. That trip to, um, to PA or New Jersey with Isaiah. Uh, all right, those long trips, the old, man's, the old man's put his time in. It's time for some of these younger guys to take these longer trips. But... Um, that's what we got on, on the horizon for MMA with some of these guys coming up and uh, uh, Javier in the gym tonight doing what he does with his wrestling. Um, I can't wait for him to say, you know what, you know what, coach, uh, put me in. That, that guy is amazing. That guy is ready to go. Uh, who else was here? Billy's back. Yeah. Um, Billy, 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 Billy Ott, um, Justin Billy Ott, uh, but we call him Billy. He's back. Um, he's a hard hitting son of a bitch. And my man Rudy from Fuquay, from Shellshock BJJ, he came down. So he got some work in tonight. Uh, a lot of guys looking good, a lot of guys looking sharp, and they're being pushed. Not over the edge, but right up to it. And then you pull them back, and then right up to it again. And that's something that uh, we were talking about last night. You don't really train at 100%. You train you know, somewhere in a neighborhood of 85%. Then you push beyond that hundred. Then you pull back beyond that hundred, and it's a balancing act. Um, you want to test the threshold, but you, there's no way to train beyond it and be 110 percent, 25 percent, 150, 200 percent. You can't double it up without an injury. So yeah, you can go there, but you're gonna have some type of injury. But the guys are looking good. Guys are ready. Hey, I am Cosess. And you've had words with the mad coach.